Hey everyone, it's Sebastian here and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build an AI agent to scan receipts and categorize them automatically. First, I want to show you how this AI agent works. Your users can upload a receipt file such as a PDF and the AI automatically will show you the total amount, the date of the receipt, categorize it automatically based on the categories that you specify and even create a brief memo based on the information of this receipt. Now, let me show you how to build this from scratch. Step one, set up the tables. Before we automate anything, we need a structured place for our data. We need to set up two tables. To do so, let's go to the data editor and create a new table. Let's call this expenses. In this table, we'll create the following columns. Let's create a first column called receipt and set the type as URL. This column will store the receipt files that your users will submit. Let's create another table called extracted text and let's set the type as text. This column will store all the extracted information from the receipt file. Next column is date. Let's select date and time as a type. In this text, we'll store the extracted date from the receipt information. Next column is called amount. Let's set the type as number and this column will extract the total amount of your receipt that will extract from the file. The next column is called category, and let's set the type as text. In this column, the AI will store the value of the category based on the information of the receipt. Now let's create another column called memo, and let's set the type as text. In this column, the AI will store the brief memo generated based on the information of the receipt. Now, let's create another table called categories. In this table, we can store different values of the categories you wanna use to categorize your expenses. It could be something like ex operational expenses, employee expenses, professional services, etc. You can customize this however you want. Now, before moving forward with the next step, let's go back to our expenses table and create one more column called categories. Let's select the joint list type. Now, in the first field, let's select the categories table and then click on the name column. Now, with this column, what we wanna do is have all the values from the categories table on hand in each row so we can use them as values for our future workflow. Step number two, add a form container. Now that we have the structure for our data in place, it's time to build the first part of our app. First, we need to allow users to upload a receipt file so we can use them as an input for the workflow. To do this, let's add a form container. Now inside this container, let's look for the file picker component. In the right panel, let's select the destination for these files to the receipt column that we created initially. This form and this file picker component, users can upload the receipt files and send it directly to the column that we specified. Let's test this out. We can see that our receipt file has been stored in the corresponding column. However, the remaining column is still blank because after submitting our form, nothing has happened. So we need to create a workflow that gets triggered after each submission so we can fill the remaining columns. Step three, set up the workflow. Let's click on our form container and on the right panel, let's look for the after submit action. Here, we are gonna create our new workflow. This is where the magic happens. We're gonna create a workflow composed of different actions and each action is gonna generate a single piece of information that is gonna fill each column individually with the use of AI. Let's look for the document to text action. In the right panel, let's select the receipt column as the input for the document. And we're gonna store the results in the extracted text column. What this action is gonna do is use the file as the input and extract all the information from that and store it in the extracted text column. So we can use it later. The next action is gonna be a text to number action. To configure this action, let's select as the input the extracted text. And we're gonna store the result in the amount column. Now let's add additional instructions for this. In this case, we can say extract the total amount from this received information. The AI now will take the extracted text as the input, identify the total amount, and store it in this column. Our next step is a text to date action. What this action is going to do is look for the extracted text containing all the information from the receipt and isolate just the date. We can set the extracted text as the input and we're gonna store the result in the date column. Let's add now further instructions to identify the date from the extracted text of the receipt. The fourth step 
is a text to choice action. What this action is going to do is pretty cool. It's going to look at all the information of the receipt and it's going to look also at the categories that we specified and it's going to try to match that receipt with one of those categories. So for the input, let's select extracted text from the choices. Let's select our categories column that we created. And for the result, let's store it in the category column. Now let's add further instructions saying categorize this expense based on information extracted. Now we can add our last AI action. Let's look for generate text. What this action is going to do is look at the information of the receipt and generate a brief memo to add additional details that we can use to add more context about this receipt. Let's select the extracted text as the input one more time and let's store the result in the memo column. Let's add additional instructions to generate a very brief memo describing the expense to the accounting department from the extracted information of this receipt. Let's make a quick recap of all the actions we added. First, we're going to extract the information from the receipt document. Then, we're going to identify the total amount of the receipt. Following, we're going to identify the date of that receipt as well. We're going to categorize it based on the categories that we defined. And lastly, we're going to generate a brief memo based on the information of that receipt. Before moving forward, I would like to add a small detail. I want to add a show notification action to prompt users when all the workflow has been completed. Now, let's test our workflow. Let's go back to the layout editor and upload another file. Cool, we can see that the receipt has been stored and all the other columns have been populated automatically. It works. The fourth step, build the UI. Our system is working, but now I want to add more components to our app so we can display that information to our users. First, let's add a list component. And on the right panel, let's select the expenses table for our source. With this, I can show all the uploaded receipts and information. I can even configure what information I want to display. For example, the amount, the category, the date, and a small preview of the receipt. I can even change the style to make it look nicer. Let's click on one of the records here and let's add a couple more components so we can show the details of that specific record. Let's add a title to show the extracted information. A hint to show the generated memo. And we can even add a web embed to show the original receipt. You can customize this as much as you want and even add the AI component to create custom components with the help of AI. It's pretty cool. Check out our other videos to learn more about this feature. And lastly, publish. I'm pretty satisfied with the app we just built. Now let's publish it so users can start interacting with it. Let's click on the publish button and create a custom link for our app. Now you can use this link and share it with whoever you want. Your app is going to look beautiful on any device, either mobile or desktop. And that's it. You just build an AI powered receipt scanner that categorizes expenses automatically. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next one.